Hi, this is Sherry with eDirectory, the global leader in online directory software. In this training session, we'll cover setting up locations, email configuration, setting up categories, pricing configuration, level features, payment gateways, and importing data. Let's get started. Here in the administrative back panel, you'll be able to set up your locations. Under Setup and Configuration, choose Locations. And here you'll be able to set up your date format and time zone. You'll also be able to check this to enable the visitor location detection. So when someone is searching, it will be able to detect their current location. And also down here, you'll be able to set up country, region, state, city, and also neighborhood. So select the areas that you would like to appear on your listings, and then be sure to hit Save Changes. Also down here under Load Locations, uh, depending on what your location is here for USA, you'll be able to show zip code, state, and city. Uh, for other locations, you can choose Canadian, UK, or Australian, and they each have their own way of posting their uh, city, state, zip type of format. So choose the one that ap applies to you, and then hit Submit. It's very important to set up your locations and settings prior to importing any information or adding any listings. That way you'll have a place to set all of your information such as city, state, and zip. Also you'll be able to set up your language settings for either what your users will see on the front end or what you'll be using in the site manager or the back end. We offer English, Portuguese, Spanish, French, Italian, Dutch, and Turkish. To configure your email, go into the Administrative Back Panel and under Setup and Configuration, choose Email Configuration. This will allow you to send email from eDirectory. Under Server, find your SMTP information, which you should be able to get from your email service provider. Or if you're using Gmail, add in smtp.gmail.com, add your email address, your username, password, test the connection, and save your configuration. Under Administrator Email, these will be the emails that your users can send to for your eDirectory. So you can set up a, an, a default email, something like info at eDirectory.com, or if you'd like email to come in from certain areas of the site and go to a specific email address such as signing up for listings or contacting you. You can set up different emails here. Be sure that the emails that you're using in these specific areas are different from the default. Otherwise you'll end up getting duplicate messages. So once you've done this you'll be able to send and receive emails from your eDirectory. Here we'll set up your eDirectory categories. Categories will appear on your home page. About halfway down the page, you'll be able to browse by category. And we'll show you how to set those up. In your dashboard, select Content Manager, Manage Categories, and Add Category. Set up a new page for Activities. You can add up to 10 keywords. Add your keyword and hit Return after each keyword. You can set this as Featured or disable the category. Under Content, you can add text, images, and any HTML information, and that'll be added to your category page. And then also, you can set it up to be search engine friendly. So you'll be able to have a Q 
keyword, let's say activities in Seattle, activities Seattle. You can add meta keywords. And then also metadata. Not only will this appear in the search engines um, as description for your page, but it will also allow you to set search engine friendly words and phrases. You'll also be able to add an image. And then save your changes. Once you have your category set, you can also add subcategories. So here, let's add one for kayaks. Kayak, paddle. And again, you'll be able to set up more content for this page and your search engine friendly title, keywords, and description, and hit Save Changes. And please note that setting up categories will not automatically display on the home page. You need to add listings to the category and assign them to that category for them to display on the home page. Then you can go back in and manage your categories. You can edit any of the pages that are there, add additional subcategories. Let's set up the pricing and listing levels. In your dashboard, you can choose pricing and payment options. So here you'll choose your currency. So depending on where you, you, where you are, you can choose what type of payment you'd like. Um, tax settings, if it applies to you, you can set that up here. And under miscellaneous, you can choose to allow your users to print out an invoice and send you a check. If you don't want to have that and have everything online, you can uncheck that and just have enable manual payment. And be sure to save your changes. Under manage listing levels and pricing, You'll have different options here for listings, events, classifieds, banners, and articles. So we're going to review the listings here. And with eDirectory, you can have four different listing levels. And you should have your most expensive listed first because that's the order in which they will display on the pages. So you want to have your most expensive advertising highlighted first. So you can name it whatever you'd like. Here we just have diamond, gold, silver, and bronze. But you can name it whatever you'd like and have it active, popular, featured. You can have the pricing set per month and how many categories it'll include. And then if they want to add additional categories, each one will be $20. This will be displayed on the advertise page. So you can see silver, diamond, gold, bronze. And it also lists what is included. So you can choose which levels have different features in the listings. So again, your diamond or whatever it is that you choose to name it is going to be your showcase listing. So this listing is also going to have a detailed page associated with it so it can house additional features like image galleries and videos. Some of the smaller listings will only be a listing and won't have a detail page unless you assign it, um, but most likely they will just be a listing of the company's name, address, phone number, website, email and it won't have an area to house anything like video or photo gallery. So it's up to you what you would like to include in any of your packages. So you can go ahead and choose these. Videos, summary description, long description, that will be for a detail page. 
hours of operation, location, listing badges, optional. Uh, you can add Facebook page and any other features. So you can set those up and be sure to save your changes. The item renewal period, you can set it for annual payment or monthly payment. eDirectory offers up to 12 different pay payment gateways. The most popular are PayPal and Authorize.net. To set these up, you would just choose the one that you have an account with, enter your account information, and also you can click here if you want to accept recurring payments, whether it be monthly or annually. Choose that, set up your information, and be, her be sure to hit Save Changes. To add data and listings to your eDirectory, you can not only allow your users to sign up on their own or add them manually, you can also import in bulk. To do that, under Content Manager, choose Import and Export Data. Go to Import Listings and be sure to download the CSV template. This is very important as all of the fields are formatted specifically for the import into eDirectory. So this is what the spreadsheet looks like. So you would just go in and fill in all of your information. Follow the formatting exactly as you see it here, including keywords. You'll see this double pipe to separate the keywords. So follow that format exactly. Also, date formatting, very important. And also, listing levels and categories, follow the exact separation tools on here as well. Once you have it completed, we highly recommend that you do small batches at a time, a thousand, two thousand at a time, to make sure that it all works, and then upload the information back up into the system. It will import all of the text information. Any images, you will need to go in and edit those manually in each of the, the records. For any assistance, simply email support at eDirectory.com or head to support.edirectory.com and click Create Ticket.